Hello viewers, today we'll talk about the difference between TLS 1.2 and TLS version 1.3. So let's get started. TLS, everyone know that it stands for Transport Layer Security. So it is a foundation technology for online privacy as a cryptographic protocol. Transport Layer Security encrypts data and authenticates connection when moving data over the internet via HTTP protocol. It is an extension of the protocol known as HTTPS Hypertext Transfer Protocol, uh, which is secure in nature. When a user visits a website, their browser checks for a TLS certificate on the site. If one is present, their browser performance, then the browser performs a TLS handshake to check its validity and, and authenticate the server. Once link has been established between the two servers, TLS encryption and SSL decryption enable secure data transport. So what is SSL and TLS? So TLS stands for transport layer security and SSL for secure socket layer. Uh, so it is a cryptographic protocol that extends HTTP to authenticate internet connection and enable encryption and SSL decryption for data communication over a network. In fact, TLS is a direct evolution of SSL and introduced uh, introduce to address security vulnerabilities in the earlier protocol. The differences between the two are relatively minor, such as the stronger encryption algorithm and availability to work on different ports offered by the TLS. The term are used somewhat interchangeably and the same certificates can be used with both TLS and SSL. Now let's see uh, TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3. So TLS version 1.2 was released in 2008. It is currently the most widely implemented version of TLS. TLS 1.2 offers major improvement over the older version of TLS 1.1. A new version of TLS was launched in 2018, TLS version 1.3 protocol. So TLS 1.3 aims to solve all of the problems facing, facing its older version TLS 1.2. While TLS 1.2 was a good choice for a TLS protocol and until recently, but now TLS 1.3 offers a better solution with a refreshing approach, especially for security related matters. In October 2018, Apple, Google, Microsoft and Mozilla responsible for Chrome, Edge, IE and Firefox and Safari browser announced that they are that by the first half of 2020, TLS 1.0 and 1.1 will be disabled by them. So what was the issue with TLS 1.2 version? The new TLS 1.2 vulnerability like the old puddle allows the attacker to gain access to encrypted block of data and then gain exposure to plain text information using side channels. The procedure is this. If the victim visits, for example, a non-encrypted website, malicious JavaScript is injected into the, into the victim's browser. On the browser, once the browser is infected, a MITM attack is executed and the attacker can, can grab the victim's cookies and credentials from a secure web session. So you can see here, uh, TLS 1.2 handshake and TLS 1.3 uh, handshake where in TLS 1.2 the client establishes uh, a, a handshake with uh, by sending hello to the server then, uh, then server responds with hello to the clients then uh, the client exchanges the key uh, which is uh, change cipher specification finished then uh, at, at step 4 uh, from the server side change cipher specification is finished then in step 5, HTTP request is sent from the client to the server and uh, server responds with that, uh, server responds to that uh, particular request from the client. But in case of TLS 1.3, you can see that a uh, lot of steps are removed and it is very easy to uh, do the handshaking. In the first uh, phase itself, uh, client sends hello uh, along with the key and then uh, the server verifies the key uh, and then Third step is directly client sends the HTTP request and server responds with that uh, HTTP response. TLS 1.3 offers several improvements over earlier version, most notably a faster TLS handshake and simply simpler, more secure cipher suits. Zero run trip time, uh, key exchange further streamline the TLS handshake. Together, these changes provide better performance and stronger security. So TLS 1.3 offers faster handshake. TLS encryption and SSL decryption requires CPU time and add latency to network communications, somewhat degrading performance. Under TLS 1.2, the initial handshake was carried out in clear text, meaning that even if even it needs to be encrypted and decrypted. Given that a typical handshake involves five to seven packets exchanged between the client and the server, this adds this adds considerable overhead to the connection. Under the version 1.3, server certificate encryption was adopted by default, making it possible for TLS handshake to be performed with zero to three packets only which uh, reduces or eliminate the overhead and allow faster and more responsive connections. So TLS 1.3 offers simple stringer uh, cipher suits. In addition to reducing the number of packets to be exchanged during the TLS handshake, version 1.3 has also 
Swing the size of the cipher suits used for encryption. In TLS 1.2 and earlier version, the use of ciphers with cryptographic weakness has posed potential security vulnerabilities. TLS 1.3 includes support only for algorithms that currently have no known vulnerabilities, including that any that do not support perfect forward security PFS. The update has also removed the ability to perform regeneration in which a client and server that already have a TLS 1. Dot have a TLS connection can negotiate new parameters and generate new keys a function that can increase risk so you can see here um, the handshake time is reduced the handshake number of steps is reduced in TLS 1.3 TLS 1.2 handshake takes two round trips to complete the TLS handshake which adds network overhead and latency to connections Cons uh, conversely the TLS 1.3 handshake requires only one round trip from both sides this reduces the total setup time by half and results in faster high, highly responsible HTTPS connections so why should we use 1.3 so apart from reducing the latency TLS 1.3 handshake significantly step forward in enhances security as well, as well it removes all primitive features that leads to weak configurations. TLS 1.3 prevents common SSL TLS vulnerabilities such as drawn, portal, sloth, chime, and more. TLS 1.3 improved performance as well. The performance imp improvement in TLS 1.3 is also brought, out, brought about by zero round trip uh, time resumption or zero RTT, which means when a user tries to access a previously visited website, the connection is instantly resumed by exchanging the pre shared keys from the previous session. As the entire handshake process is eliminated, the client can send data to the server on the very first message. So if we we'll compare 1.3 and uh, 1.2 TLS version, the most important difference is that TLS version 1.3 handshake takes less time than TLS version 1.2 handshake. TLS 1.3 benefit includes reduction of round trip processing resulting in a faster handshake, improvement of latency time by reducing the number of round trips, improvement of website performance and user experience due to reduced latency, use a perfect uh, forward security secrecy and removal of vulnerable algorithm and ciphers so in summary we can say that while TLS version 1.2 is still used migration to TLS version 1.3 is picking up steam due to the version simplicity improved performance and data privacy and security properly implemented TLS 1.3 provides a faster connection which results in reduced latency reduced latency improves the website performance and user experience simplifying cipher suits and removing the insecure feature and other vulnerabilities makes client server connection even more secure Considering that TLS 1.3 is not backward compatible with TLS 1.2, business should consider supporting both versions of the for a certain period of secure data tr transactions with legacy system and applications. So thank you so much for watching today's video and if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.